What's a pirate minus the ship? Just a creative homeless guy and an ant eater plus a large hungry mutant ant. An ironic way to die. And what's domain, domain range? A kid with too much in his pants and. All right, let's start off with our first graph, x squared minus 3. We can go ahead and put this 3 units down because it's a minus 3. So we know that it's going to go ahead and take that behavior. So we're going to want to find the zeros. So we're going to want to solve for x. So x squared minus 3 equals 0. We're going to set it to 0. So we go ahead and solve that. And we're going to find that x equals plus or minus the square root of 3. All right, so let's stick that right there on the graph so we know where our zeros are. All right, that's nice. Keep on going. So here we want to we're going to want to solve for x squared minus three is greater than zero. Well, that's really easy. You can just go ahead and shade everything that's right there above the zeros. All right, cool. All right, next problem. Second verse, same as the first. We're going to use the same processes here, but this time we've got x squared plus four x minus six. All right, this is a little bit more complex, so we're going to find the vertex to help us, you know, grab this thing out a little bit. Alright, so the x coordinate of the vertex, we're going to use x negative b over 2a to find. So we go ahead and solve that, and we're going to get negative 2, alright? So we plug that in for the x value of our equation. So, so that'll be negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 6. And this comes out to equal negative 10. So we know our vertex is going to be at negative 2, negative 10. So, you know, stick that on there and keep that in mind. All right, now we're going to use the quadratic formula in order to find our zeros. This is a pretty complex equation. So we're going to plug everything in there, and we got negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared plus 4 times 1 times negative 6, all of this over 2. And this is going to come out to be x equals negative 2 plus or minus 10. All right. So let's go ahead and stick those zeros on there, and we've got a pretty good look of how our graph is going to be. All right. <coughs> so we're going to want to solve here for x squared plus 4x is less than or equal to 6. All right. Nothing fancy here. We're just going to move the 6 over here so that we can have it equal to 0. I'm just going to go ahead and shade everything that's less than 0. That's easy. All right. Cool. All right. Third equation. We're going to have x squared plus 5. So just by looking at this equation, you can see that your graph is going to be moved five units up. It doesn't look like it's going to have any zeros. Well, let's go ahead and find out. All right, so we're going to want to solve, as we've been doing before, x squared plus 5 equals 0. x squared equals negative 5. And x equals plus or minus i square root of 5. Oh, look, it's imaginary. It doesn't look like it's going to make it on that graph for the zeros. So we don't have any zeros. And now we're going to want to solve for x squared plus 5 is greater than 0. Well, it looks like that's going to be the entire graph, because it's all greater than zero. So you can just go ahead and uh, color that entire thing right there. Go ahead. It'll be fun. All right, final graph. We're going to have negative x squared plus 2. This one is a little bit different, because it opens down, since we have negative x. But we're just going to move it up to, like we've been doing before. Okay, nothing big. This is an easy one. Don't sweat it. It's cool. So we're going to solve for x, as we've been doing. And we've got x equals plus or minus the square root of 2. So let's take those zeros on there. See how we're doing? All right, it's looking good. So now we're going to want to solve for negative x squared plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. You divide my negative 1 here in order to get x squared positive. Since you're dividing my negative, though, your sign's going to switch around. So you've got x squared minus 2 is less than or equal to 0. So just shade everything less than 0. And you're good. There, we did it. We learned some math. All right. Yeah, support the farmers with a protractor. Link Kennedy and Lincoln with a common factor. Live like your data when you're all set. Oh my God, right. <laughs> Yo, it's new, it's new, it's new, all right.